All right, we've got to talk about the new event and the event pass because I already know people are gonna accuse Clash of Clans of being pay to win and killing free skins. There's a lot to unpack about the new way events will work in Clash of Clans, starting with this cookie rumble event. First things first, there's a new event pass, which works similar to the gold pass. Now this whole cookie rumble event is going to work almost exactly like the mashup madness event, so I won't get into too much detail. This time there will be a free side of the event track and a paid side of the event track. The event pass will cost $5 USD and it will unlock the paid side of the pass which unlocks more rewards, but it is not required to participate in the event and earn tons of rewards. There will be a gingerbread bakery next to the clan games cart where everything for this event will live. You'll raid other villages to collect sweet elixir which will progress you along the event track. But unlike mashup madness, sweet elixir will be placed in three random buildings instead of just elixir storages. You'll earn rewards along along the track like resources, progression boosts, decorations, and limited time troops, and you can also spend your sweet elixir in the trader shop for more resources, progression boosts, and decorations. But the two rewards of interest are the gingerbread king skin and the giant gauntlet, which is a new piece of epic hero equipment. The reason these are so important is because you will only be able to claim one of these rewards unless you buy the event pass, meaning your sweet elixir will be be capped at a certain amount so that you'll only have enough to buy one of these rewards. This is where you start shouting at Supercell for being pay to win, but there's more to it than that. For some reason, when Supercell releases a new way to pay for the game, people go nuts. I can't speak for other Supercell games, <coughs> Clash Royale, but so far Clash of Clans has been really good to free to play players and really good at giving extremely good value for what they charge. The gold pass gives you insane value and even when they increase the the price, they simultaneously buff the rewards so that it's still the best purchase you can make in Clash. The reality is Supercell is a business and they're always looking for new tactics to make money. You can see how they've set this event up to make you really, really want to buy it in order to get all the rewards. From a business perspective, it's a great system, but for us, it is so annoying that we can only get one or the other of the best rewards. It's genuinely frustrating to me. but as annoying as it is, Clash of Clans is not pay to win. Nothing has really changed about the game. It's always been a pay to progress game. There have always been ways to pay for faster progression. And if you think about it, every single cosmetic that you've ever purchased, besides the Pixel King, Pixel Scenery, and Armored Machine, have been a choice between progression and aesthetics. In essence, this event is really not much different. In the end, it always comes down to you as the consumer deciding whether or not you want to purchase something from Supercell. So what should you do for this event? Should you buy the event pass or should you choose between the skin and equipment? There are two pieces of information you have to know. Number one, is this the only chance to buy the giant gauntlet? And number two, is this the only chance to buy the gingerbread king? We can confidently assume that the gingerbread king will return to the shop next December, although we don't know the price. He could follow in the pixel king's footsteps and be $4.99 or he could be the same as his fellow gingerbread heroes NB999. We'll have to wait and see. As for the giant gauntlet, it will be available later on after this event for gems. I don't know when or how many gems, but what we do know is you can get it free and early, or you can wait and spend gems to get it. I am most likely going to skip the event pass and just claim the gingerbread king and then wait on the hero equipment. But you have a few options. You could obviously just buy the event pass, but if you don't, you have to choose do you want to claim the skin and buy the equipment later or do you want to get the equipment now and wait to get the skin next year and you could also just not care about the skin at all and make the easy choice of buying the equipment it's up to you so is this clash of clans new version of free skins well first of all clash of clans might still hand us free cosmetics in the future without a trade-off similar to what they did for the 10th clash anniversary but second we have to consider that we don't know what future events will look like will they all have free skins and if so will they all be structured like this this event was? Will we always have to choose between the latest hero equipment and a skin or scenery? We'll have to wait and see and now would be a good time to subscribe for more news on that.